Bob Hamlet is the Canadian Armed Forces' contribution to MINUSTA, the United Nations mission uh, promoting stability in Haiti. MINUSTA is a UN peacekeeping operation that came to Haiti in 2004 to help this country to stabilize the situation for to reconstruction and to reinforce the institution, national institution. Canada has boosted Op Hamlet uh, over the past few months by the addition of 34 uh, members from uh, Sectel du Québec, or newly renamed 2nd Canadian Division. We have a platoon embedded in the Brazilian battle group. We also have a few staff officers embedded in the Brazilian headquarters. Upon my arrival, I found that security really has stabilized across the country. Things were, with the exception of one or two spots, much safer, much more developed. The people were friendly, they were happy, the markets are full of food, uh, people were generally looking cheerful. While there remains a, a level of poverty throughout the country, uh, clearly the security situation has improved greatly over the past three or four years. But we also are really working hard to improve the bilateral ties which Canada has with Brazil. Primeiro de tudo foi a minha primeira experiência trabalhando com oficiais canadenses. Até então, eu nunca tinha trabalhado com especificamente com o povo canadense. E para mim particularmente foi uma grata surpresa ver o nível de dedicação, o nível de profissionalismo, o nível de competência que agora para mim é peculiar, é característico do povo canadense. A partir de agora, a minha opinião sobre o povo, sobre os militares, sobre o exército canadense, a melhor opinião possível. Certainly on the military side, we're getting more and more involved trying to exchange experiences. Uh, they have some amazing experience dealing with uh, crowded cities and large situations. So our troops are really learning a lot about how to operate in a large city like Palto Prince. Canadians are really leveraged uh, largely because of the, the bilingual nature uh, that we have amongst people in the forces. French is a historical language in Haiti, Creole being the most commonly spoken, but many Haitians do speak French. We find that as Canadians we're able to communicate not just with Haitians but with many uh, European uh, country members that are working here as part of the Manusta mission. The 2010 earthquake left many people homeless uh, and without anywhere to live, any means to survive, to have a job, uh, and as a result, a number of uh, IDP or internally displaced persons camps were set up across the country. We've reduced the numbers of uh, people in IDP camps down to about 200,000. It's important to note that that was the, about the number of people living in these types of camps before the earthquake struck. So we've, we've certainly made a huge improvement in helping to relocate, uh, to build up uh, housing and to give people options on where they live and how they survive. Of course, uh, there are a lot of environmental challenges here. Uh, we're in the path on the island of Hispaniola of many a hurricane and there are a lot of environmental disasters that can occur. Uh, so there'll always be a need for some sort of assistance. Uh, but we're, we're getting much better and I think by far the large number of people that were displaced by the earthquake have found another alternative on how to live. Our number one priority remains uh, maintaining the security and stability of the country and helping the Haitian National Police to increase their capacity.